Hi, today I'm here to show you how to cut salmon up, ready to cook. The first thing I'm going to do behind the gill is chop the head off with one easy cut. I should chop the tail above, just above where it starts to go into the body. Off the fins. I want to do uh, my now. This isn't a job that I do very often, but I can do it. I'm looking for the backbone, which I seem to have come across now, which runs all the way down the fish. I have a whole row of bones here that I am trying to, and that will make one fillet on that side, you see. Slipping the knife under the bones and pushing back all of the flesh. I'm sure, your fishmonger can do it better, but. That's not a bad go for me. I can see the line where the muscles meet and there I have one fillet of salmon which just needs skinning. The job is to find those bones And there we should have and again push the meat with your knife and some more bones coming along here so we'll just ease that flesh off gently pushing it back with the blade of the knife. I'm going to continue to ease this flesh back like so. There we go. Now there's not an awful lot of flesh on that and I think I've got most of the bones out. I'm just going to have a quick look. 
and there you have it. Now these can be cooked as they are, just like that. What I'm going to do now is show you how to skin, get, get the fish off of the skin and basically by making a little cut down the end here without cutting through the skin you try and ease your knife under the fish like so okay then once you have push that skin back enough so you have a grip and then with a sawing action and pulling the skin as you go you can see Just by running your knife along the skin, you can see it starts to come off quite easy. This isn't just for salmon, it's for any fish. And then we are at the end. If the fish breaks, don't panic, just get your knife in, ease it back, and get back to sawing. There. The important thing is to have a very sharp knife, of course. Just a tiny bit left on the fish. <laughs> 